Hey guys, TJ here, and welcome back to another video. This is the desert settlement of Alcazar, an Arabic city on which we've been working for the past year. As of now, the northern districts, oasis and main square have already been finished. Although the southern districts, harbor area and palace still have to be done. In today's building episode, we are going to build the palace complex of Alcazar, including several walls, gates, towers, a grand hall and multiple beautiful gardens. You guys have made it very difficult for me to choose what to build next, but I promise that I will do the cozy farming village next. Before we start, the download for this palace as well as some of my other builds are available for Hyrule patrons on my Patreon. Link in the description. Also, this build took incredibly long to make, so if you do enjoy today's episode, then please consider leaving a like on this video. Anyway, let's get to building. As always, we are going to start off today's episode with the planning. To be honest, this is going to be the only large Arabic style palace in our entire Fighter world. So I really wanted this structure to be absolutely perfect. I wanted to include lots of halls, towers and walls to make this building as overwhelming as possible. At the end of the day, this is the most notable structure of the entire city. The first structure we are going to build will be the gatehouse. For this gate design I actually didn't go for a completely Arabic design. Instead I decided to include some bits of Indian architecture within this building as well. Making the building style for this keep a combination of Arabic as well as Indian. Additionally I was also going to use some medieval themed aspects within the build but you will see more of that later. The first gate was going to be situated down the hill, where I also wanted to build some kind of a small square from which people can have a look at the front side of the castle. This was also going to be the major meeting point where wealthy traders from the region would sell their riches. Subsequently, a pathway leading up the hill would connect the two gates with each other. The palace is locally known by the name Al Hadika, which translates to the Palace of the Gardens or the Garden Palace. So as you might already expect, the complex is going to be surrounded by lots of lush and foresty gardens. This also immediately hides all of the bare spots on the walls. Since the main block used for the structure is sandstone, it is very difficult to find a reasonable amount of block types you can use for decoration, but the gardens make well up for that. On the northern side of the building we are going to have several walls extending from the main structure. Over here you will find the military section of the keep, a tiny square as well as the royal bathhouse. Alcazar is one of the few remaining settlements and the only city still standing in a region known as the Dead Valley, a sandy region situated south of the Midlands, where a lot of our other builds are located. The city of Alcazar is divided in two different parts. Altal, also known as the Old City, which includes the large square, the port area, as well as the palace hill we are building right now. And Al Marouche, also known as the New City, which includes the districts of Al Sath and Al Hajit in the north and Sahi Marouche in the east. Al Marouche is split by a swampy foresty area known by the locals as the Hadi. Yeah, those were a lot of difficult names, my apologies. It took me like 20 times to successfully complete this line. The people of Alcazar are known as Zarians and have their own culture, religion and language called Zarish. Very different from that of the rest of Phytor.
The city is well known for their isolationism, which means they don't like outsiders. While there has been some trade with other regions, the city has always been very successful to remain self-sustaining. I decided to make some alterations to the planning we had done earlier because I wasn't really satisfied yet. Zarians believe in Al-Khalida, according to them the one true god. Al-Khalida is the Zeri's word for the immortal. After death, the immortal brings his followers to the afterlife. The only place to pray and talk to the Al-Khalida before death is in a holy place known as an Egdis, of which al Khazar has plenty of. One of these is located in the southern part of our palace complex. With the entire front side of our building finished, it was time to move to the back side. Over here we weren't going to have any notable features except for a few walls and gardens. When it comes to the heroic building style in Minecraft, you are mostly limited to sandstone, which can become quite boring when you make large walls or structures. Therefore, I try to break it up with some intrusions, protrusions and spruce wood details. But always be careful not to overuse them. In the past few millennia, most of the Dead Valley has become uninhabitable because of extreme desertification. Only the Valley of Alcazar, where the city is located protected by high mountains to the east, is still habitable. However, the valley is quite dangerous for travelers, because the Zarians only protect their own city, which gives bandits free reign in the rest of the region. Now that the main gate, most of the gardens, the Egdis and bathhouse have been finished, there is only one structure left. The main palace. For the palace I went for a very common symmetrical design. Meaning I have one large dome in the middle, four large towers in each corner and some smaller ones surrounding the dome to fill up the empty space. The city of Alcazar is ruled by the richest families, called the Ela, which live in and around the palace hill. The Ela choose one of their own to be their leader for exactly 5 years. This leader is called a Kal, and can be both a man or a woman. After the 5 year term, the Kal is executed in a ceremony to prevent them from getting too much power or trying to extend their rule. When the old Kal is killed, the Ela select a new leader. With all of the exterior done, all that was left to do was the interior as well as some final detailing.
And with that, we have finished Al Hadika, the palace of Alcazar. The download file for the entire palace is available for High Lord patrons on my Patreon, although we do need some time to finish up all of the interior. If you did enjoy today's speed build then definitely be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. If we could reach 100 likes on this video it would make me very happy. Anyway, have a very nice day and see you next time. Bye bye.